Okay, guys, uh, here's the uh, Reno uh, aluminum uh, ball hitch or whatever you want to call it, um, receiver. Comes with a little manual. Um, not much really uh, going on in there. Just, you know, some basics. But it's pretty simple. Um, so this is actually really heavy. I'm not going to lie. This is made very well. And so that'll go right into the truck and then you can adjust it. This is a, um, a six inch um, adjustable. This has the uh, two inch and two and five sixteenths inch. Let me get out of there. So there's your two and five sixteenths rated at uh, 18,500 pounds and uh, your two inch it's uh, rated at 8,000 pounds and uh, to be honest with you this is probably as heavy as just my standard uh, ball that I have on my truck now and this is just one piece of this new one so I mean it's significantly heavier. Um, don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. It's definitely made well. Um, there's a pin right in here, and uh, they actually have a little screw on the end. If it kind of gets stuck in there, you can loosen that screw and kind of wiggle it out of there. Um, basically, it's hard to do this with one hand, but the pin goes right in there. So depending on what you know, position you want to be in. But once it's set in here, you can flip it around to the two inch or run the five, uh, two and five sixteenths. So um, just depends if you want the logo upside down or not. You know, I usually use a two inch ball, so I'm gonna set it, you know, like that. Uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Stay right there. You guys are all blacked out, sorry. All right, we're back. Okay, so basically I just dropped the pin in there. And uh, once it's in the groove of the L bracket, um, that pin won't pop out of there. But not too bad. I mean, it's definitely heavy. Um, and then lastly, it comes with three keys, and it's a, a locking mechanism. And, uh, you know, basically it'll go right in there and it'll lock right in the groove. Um, the other side doesn't have anything, so you can't mess it up. It only goes one way. Uh, I do recommend that when you put your receiver on there or hitch or whatever you want to call it use a locking uh, pin so nobody steals it um, the nice thing with this is uh, they can't steal this piece off unless they take the whole thing so definitely buy yourself a pin with a lock which I do have on my truck right now and uh, give me a second and we'll uh, go outside and hook this thing up all right guys here's a uh... Here's part two. So as you can see, I do have a locking a pin for my uh, receiver. I'm a little rusty, but I highly suggest that so no one steals it. Um, I have it set for the two uh, inch because that's what my trailer is. I, the reason why I bought this was because I'm gonna get a dump trailer and I needed the uh, two by uh, the two and five sixteenths. So it's really nice. It's, I mean, when I say nice, I mean, literally the quality of this is unbelievable um, and it's, pretty simple I mean just put the key in and then you can pull the pin pull it all the way out and then you can adjust it it's uh, pretty uh, self-explanatory but not bad at all and this one will go down I think uh, six inches so pretty nice and you actually can flip it around the other way so if you need to go six inches up just turn it around um, just depends on your setup but 
yep I just want to do a little review on this and uh, if anybody's looking to get something I highly recommend uh, this one all right thanks